It may feel like this season just started, but senior nights are already here for high school basketball players in the area. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was invited out to Beaverton High tonight, where the defending state champion girls celebrated some all-time great beeves. Let's really be aggressive, great hands, great people. Okay? Have fun, have fun. Friday night saw a bittersweet send-off for the senior six at Beaverton High. One, two. It's kind of emotional. It's kind of sad. The Beavs trio of Lainey Spear, Zoe Border, and Maddie Nero have been on the Beavers varsity squad for all four years of high school. It's like sad and happy at the same time because I've played with all of them for so long. The grade school buddies were in the 6A Final Four as freshmen when the world stopped. Fast forward to raising that big blue trophy for the first time as state champs in 2022. Like two of our years pretty much have been COVID. Mm -hmm. So it went by, I feel like, even faster. It just makes you more grateful for the games that you do get to play. Yeah. This regular season home finale brought out the emotion as Maddie only has a few more games to go to be coached by her mom, Kathy, and dad, John. I feel like there's certain things that um, are more challenging just because kind of separating basketball and then home life can be hard sometimes. When you're having a bad day, you don't really want to be getting yelled at by your mom. <laughs> the defending 6A champs will soon have their next order of business. We still have like more left to do, but this is just like another stepping stone through our journey. The big three are all headed to hoop it up in college at the Division I level. Well, me and Maddie will play yeah. for league. While Maddie's big sisters, Mary Kay and McKenzie, are both student athletes at Boise State, she is ticketed for Santa Clara. It felt like home, and so I decided as soon as I got <laughs> off the plane. Zoe, an all-state first-team player and 1,000-point scorer, will attend UC Santa Barbara, while Laney, the Oregon Player of the Year, will remain close to home up on the bluff at the University of Portland. I love the idea of just, like, going home whenever I need to, um, and I can't do that if I'm in California. Um, but, no, yeah, it, I just love the community that they have there. It's all about community here at BHS. I remember looking at the juniors and seniors when I was in like youth, like sixth or seventh mm -hmm. grade, and thinking they were so big yeah. and like so cool. And so now, like, people see us like that. And I mean, not like we're super cool or anything. <laughs> Once a beef, always a beef. Go Beavs! There is one more week to go in that regular season before the state playoffs begin on that march back to the Child Center. In the Beaver Dam at Beaverton High with our high school spotlight, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.